104.1 KRBE. Did you know the three-digit extension of the... All right, let's hit it. Now time for Rule and Ryan's Prank Call. Go to krbe.com slash prank call requests. And Special K will contact you back, get some information on who you want to prank and what the premise is going to be. I understand this has to do with a strange package. And you never know which voice he's going to use. Sometimes you can guide him, especially if the person listens to our show, some things to avoid to say or things that you should say, things like that. So let's find out who we're pranking and how we're going to do it. Hi, this is Desiree. I'm wanting to prank my mom, Melissa. She got a weird text from USPS um, basically asking her to track her package, but it was clearly a scam. She accidentally clicked it, and now she's super paranoid that they're going to hack into her phone and steal her identity or like steal her information, and she's just super worried. So I was hoping we could prank her into thinking that someone actually was trying to steal her information or steal her identity. She's so easy to prank, and I think this would be super fun. Hello. Good morning, Miss. It's Jaime from the United States Postal Service. Okay. Hey, we had texted you about a parcel you have sitting here at the post office in Richmond. Okay, I haven't. Uh, I must have overlooked it. So I have a package there at the post office. Yes, ma'am. We had texted you the other day in regards to it, but unfortunately, our website was down and we were unable to send you the information. Okay. Um, the other thing is it is unfortunately C-O-D, which means you got to pay for it when it comes here. Do you know who it's from? Yeah, hold on. I can I can pop it out here in a second. I'm just driving. Clo- I'm trying to come over and bring it to your house. Um, we tried to charge the account on file that we have here, but they said stop it. Okay. Because <laughs> I, I, to my knowledge, am, I, I, I'm not expecting anything C-O-D. Oh, no. Okay. Um, So we're rolling up to your crib right now um, in the post truck. Uh, Are you home? I am. uh, Can you give me a a few minutes? Oh, goodness, because we're in the cul-de-sac right now. I could just come in and, like, set it inside the house here. Well, what kind of, who is the sender exactly? Ma'am, it smells bad. (laughs) What smells bad? The package smells bad. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. The package smells bad? Yeah, are you expecting some... Oh, God. Something stinky? No. <laughs> Do you want me to... Op- it, like, it's almost cracked open a little bit. I can, like, look in. Let me look in here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what is goodness. It? What is... Oh, what my is... God. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, throw it away. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> it's like a meatloaf. Oh, no. A meatloaf? But I think it... Oh, God, it's fish. It's like salmon. I think it's a fish loaf. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't order anything like that. Oh, good. You eat fish loaf? No. <laughs> oh, you haven't had it before? No. Oh, it stinks, but it tastes the bomb. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know where that's from. I didn't request that. Oh, man. Oh, God, it smells so bad, but it's good on toast. <laughs> oh. But I, thought, I didn't order that. Oh God! No, please take it. No, oh goodness gracious! Please, you need, you need to take. Listen, hold on. What? They charge for that? They have that? Oh my goodness! So unfortunately, we're gonna have to charge you for deodorizing no, the post no, office. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm yeah. Not, I'm not paying for that. I didn't. I, I did not. Work. But no, mommy. Mira, listen, Miss. Um, it says your name on it, so I'm gonna have to look. I'll just put it on the the account we have, right? No, you better not. You better not. You better not. Mommy, oh, I know you're not getting feisty with me now. You no, I did not order. I did not order anything. Okay, but now you're getting feisty and sassy with me, and I'm just. I did not order anything. I'm sorry, I did not order anything. And I understand that, but this is your fish loaf, and you're going to have to deal with the consequences. Of it, mommy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm coming to your house right now. I'm going <laughs> to knock on the door and drop this thing off. And you give me the $7.58? Hello? Uh-oh. Okay, I guess he's calling them again. No. Like, well. Yeah, Miss... I'm so sorry to bother you again. <laughs> yeah, I know. You pranked me yesterday. I'm so sorry. Um, I still have that fish loaf if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was your daughter's idea. 
Yeah, my daughter and my granddaughter. I yes. was like, I expected it from my daughter, not my granddaughter. <laughs> well, Aww. they love my prank calls, and they thought it'd be so funny if we could get you on it. And sure enough, we did. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> and you did have me going, and I was like, especially because I've been so paranoid lately ever since I accidentally clicked on that link from the <laughs> post office. Yes, and let this be a lesson to all of Houston. Don't click on the link that says USPS has a package for you. You. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, um, I just wanted to follow up with you. I know that you finally figured it out after we hung up and your daughter, I guess, revealed it to you. So do you have a message for your daughter and granddaughter who set you up? Uh, my message is payback. Wait for payback. <laughs> All right. And then can you say Special K prank me on the Rule and Ryan show? Uh, Special K prank me on the Rule and Ryan show. Enjoy your fish love. <laughs> Ah, fish loaf. Oh, the God. fish loaf made a reappearance on the prank me. call. That's a krbe.com slash prank call requests. And yes, fish loaf was something that we had to tackle earlier this Some week because a guy uh, well, got last ghosted. Week, I think. For closure, right? I think it was a week or two ago. It was a week ago. She ghosted him because he invited her over and it stunk. And he was so excited about his major feature dish, fish loaf, which all of us were like, I can't get past those two words. The word loaf makes it anything. Loaf of fish. I like meatloaf, but I'm used to hearing that as a kid. Meat and meatloaf so isn't as offensive it, it you think gross. of like comfort it food. Does. You think of mashed potatoes, you think of like comfort what food. What did meatloaf. you say? Meatloaf, you think of like a no, comfort food. mashed rate. potatoes. Mashed potatoes. It sounds like, I don't know. Mashed potatoes. It did sound weird. Did mashed it? potatoes. Yeah. It sounds like said mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. It's mashed-a-da. like you added like extra. AI Rula is having a problem. AI Rula. Oh, we boot quick, Sam. They're going to figure us out. Oh, Rula's been gone for four months. I've been AI this whole time. She's still under from her surgery. That's right. She's in the coma right now. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Yeah, so fish Loaf is something that uh, people Correct. were very. We should do that as a contest. Passionate about. We could make the best fish loaf. Please don't. Yeah, I don't do even it know all what to put in that week. man. Absolutely. No, no, no. We're gonna wait till you Try get back. Two seconds. Yes. Go ahead. Like, let's Go make ahead. a fish no, loaf. We're not here. <laughs> we're gonna wait. Gosh, um, we can't that? say you're leaving, Sam. A listener said. I don't- there's a, you're not supposed to tell people when you leave. I mean, I get that, but you're gonna. Aren't you gonna know that I'm not here next week? But she was also asking for advice on on this flight. Yeah. That's why yeah. we talked about why she's in town. Why is she going to Hawaii? And they don't want tourism. She's I know, going I'm getting for work shaved not, right now. Or her husband's going like, for work. Vacation. Anyway, okay. so those that, those that missed that, you're talking about Sam is going out of town That's with her in. husband next week and their baby, and she had a question about the baby's sleep schedule on the plane. And somebody well, said, "They're just jealous." Don't talk about when you're going out of town. True. Well, she's got. People staying in her house, so she doesn't care. Yeah, Absolutely. and she has she's a moat. She has all the things: all crocodiles, the things. alligators. Um, my neighbors are very nice. They watch out for my house, and they have lots they get of cops now. Ammo. Oh, it's always nice to have a neighbor that's a cop. Oh, absolutely. We have a whole group text. My they, buddy, Cliff, my house is on their ring camera. Like we're like, going to Astros that games, service, sir. And Cliff has his gun with him. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Like I feel safe because he's yeah. a he's a cop. He's a cop. Uh, I forgot that he yeah, was. Cliff, yeah, you know him. Yeah, Cliff and Lori. They're very sweet. Best Astros fans ever. Yep. Is it still hot? Oh, up there in the club level, in that section where they were sitting that one time, remember? It was so uh, hot when no. the Amazon store went in there. No, it's cooler now. Okay, people that don't realize this, at Minute Maid Park was the first ballpark to get the Amazon store where you just walk in and pick up whatever you Put want. Put your credit card, you just like, yeah. you, you know, do that little thing where you touch it. You just tap it when you walk in, and then the cameras, there's like, what, 50 cameras? Somehow and they, they watch what you buy. It's so wild. So you walk out with it. But when they put that in there, it's really cold in there, and the AC vent return was spraying into the section where Cliff and Lori were sitting. Oh, yeah, they put it above them. So it was nice. boiling hot. Oh, oh, I get what you're saying. I'm, th- I'm thinking the Which wind is, sad, is coming you know, that the way. The sad no, part is, it, yeah. that is the handicap section. It's where you're up at the top platform where if you have disability. Why would you make it hot And it was there? so boiling hot. But really, I'll and make then it harder the, for people. the juice box has been hot. For a long time. As a season ticket holder last season and then a partial season ticket holder this season, mm. I would sweat every freaking game. I get so mad. Absolutely. Like, why is it so hot in yes. here? Yes, agree. Why is it so hot in here? Maybe that's why you can't win. Because you got 40,000 people breathing. That's probably why. <sighs> well, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to get a prank call going, go to krbe.com slash prank call request. Coming up next, we need your calls. It's the month of October. It's the paranormal. Believe it or not, we want to hear your stories of the spooky and spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> and mashed potatoes. potatoes. Yeah. Did you, well, was, that was a movie, right? In my mashed potatoes, I saw the sign of the devil. Close encounters. <laughs> and the guy built. And I said, Satan, get thee behind me and my gravy. <laughs> Ooh, I'm hungry for mashed potatoes. I think it's true. Close encounters of their time. It had something to do with Richard mashed potatoes. Richard Dreyfus made a 
<laughs> tower of potatoes oh or something. God. Okay, we'll take your calls next at 713-390-KRBE on the Rule and Ryan Show. Believe it or not, the stories are true. Don't ever let anyone try to bullshit. You either you could be dead, nearly chopped off your head. Yeah. Rule of Ryan show. <laughs> Believe it or not, Sam's not sure. No, I'm not. Where she am I? She can't decide. <laughs> what? Make up her mind. Oh, Indecisive. Yeah. I thought I said you're not short. I thought that too at first. <laughs> Gonna eat. <laughs> I thought it said, believe it or not, Sam's not short. That's what I thought too. I'm actually six foot five. Yeah. We just wow. make me look uh, shorter She's so you guys feel better. But she is indecisive. That, yes. That is such a... Like, I couldn't even pick which, believe it or not, I wanted to use. <laughs> what? You just closed your eyes and picked yes. that one? Yes. Trying to go in order. 713-390-KRBE is our phone number here on the Rulin Ryan Show for Believe It or Not. And since it's the month of October... We are bringing it. We're hoping you bring it with your paranormal occurrences, stories. Spooky. Spooky. There we go. Let's get in the vibe. Oh, there we go. Sp- 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 let's let's sp- shut the lights off. Okay, dim them down. Wait. Ooh, let's oh, got yeah. chill. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Ooh, let's got chill. We just can't dim them down. Darn it. Oh. It's recording this. Nobody knows they're not dim Nobody's until they watch it later. <laughs> I'm like, it's recorded. We can't turn it off. Okay. Darn it. Oh, this music is free. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, no. oh. Now we get shadows and I see my double chin. That's really scary. That's really terrifying. When you see yourself on camera and you don't like the way you see it. Okay, we're starting with West. Standing by on the line at 713-390-KRBE. Welcome to Believe It or Not, West. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Morning. We're feeling we're feeling good. Astros won yesterday. Right. But I'm getting a little creeped out because it is the spooky time of the year. I and I just don't story. know what we're going to get. Yeah. So Eric said that you have a story that unfortunately you lost your spouse and that's all we know. So I'm sorry you lost your spouse. Please tell us more. You have the spotlight, West. All right. Hey, y'all made it even creepier because Ed Sheeran was her favorite artist and y'all played her song, his song. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. And, and, Whoa. and, and and I was I was the first Ed Sheeran winner back in October. Uh, y'all gave me the tickets to go see him, and me oh. and her mother went. Oh, oh, my gosh, oh, yes. right. oh that's crazy! Yes, yes, yes remember? Because don't you live with with the mom, Wes, and she's helping you raise the kids? That's, yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah, that's you. The boys already grow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so Wes, <laughs> how long ago did you lose your wife, and what was her name? La- last year, my wife's name was Dorita. Teresa. Dorisa, D. Dorisa, Dorisa. Okay, okay. Yeah. Dorisa. Um, and this has okay. to do with Dorisa's passing uh, from a year yeah. ago. Now, tell us what happened. Okay, this this past May, her birthday is May 14th. My daughter's birthday is May 17th. Okay. So I was going through my wife's phone to get some pictures of my daughter. And then I just looked under her text messages, and I saw on the 13th, it called my name, my nickname, Van. And then on the 14th, it said, I love you. So I picked up my phone to see if I had any text like that. And who would be doing this? Mm-hmm. The text wasn't there. I closed my phone, and then it immediately lit up for two texts. It said my name, Van, on the 13th. And on the 14th, it said, I love you. Oh, my That's gosh. Sweet. What did you do? Did you, like, just start crying? Did you just, what, <sighs> shocked? What did you uh, I was shocked. I cried. I dropped the phone. I picked oh. it up. I turned it off, and I opened it again. It was still there. <laughs> so on her phone, it shows that the transmission of a text was created, but on your phone, you hadn't gotten it until you turned your phone off, and then the two texts yes. popped up from your wife's phone. Yes, and, yes. And she passed away last year, and this yes. was after she passed away on like, her birthday month in May. Oh, right. Uh, yes. She, she passed in January of last year. This year, the month of May, those checks showed up. Wow. Oh, wow. That is... <laughs> oh, that was her just saying hi. Yeah. Do you see other things you. of her? Does she like, send little messages to you throughout the months? Or do you just, like, you see something and you know it's her? No. It no, I don't. Time. It's just... It, it was just I was missing her, and her birthday was on Mother's Day, and that just showed up. The unexplainable. Aww, that's, that's incredible. So sweet. Oh, that's and, awesome. Uh, 
Hey, thanks for letting me be a part of your show. I love you all. I love, love you, you too. Wes, thanks, Wes. Thanks for making us part you're of your life. You're making me sad, but you're also making me smile. Because I know. I know, because you're so, so like happy-go-lucky. I know. Even though you've lost like, yeah, I'll try your to be. partner, you know? <laughs> Yeah, you know, hey, look, the two of us together, 11 children, 23 grandchildren. I got a lot to smile about. Yep, that's a lot. Wow. That's wow. a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> wow. That is amazing, Wes. Well, God bless you. I can hear the smile in your, in your voice. We love you. Have a oh, great Friday. Thank you. Love you, buddy. You right, too honey. now. Bye. Thank Bye, you. Wes. Bye. Wow, that was cool. So for those just tuning in, it's Believe It or Not, <clears throat> Wes's wife passed away, and after she passed on her birthday, two texts were generated from her phone to his. I love you. Wow, wow, wow. Donna. Donna is up Donna? next. 713-390-KRB. I watched, today? I watched um, Mamma Mia, Mash. and that's what they say. Donna. Oh, yeah. And Mamma Mia, Meryl Streep's name Bronson. is. Yeah, Bronson. Pierce Brothers. Donna. Oh, that's. See, I'm in uh, Suits right now, and the one, the main chick's name is Donna in Suits. Do they so say Donna? <laughs> they just are like, Donna. Donna. <laughs> Donna. Well, hi, Donna. Welcome to Believe It or Not, the spooky edition. Good morning. Which why? Oh, four. is it four? <laughs> oh. <laughs> four or five quick things. Sorry. <laughs> I guess it makes sense to hit the line the person's on. No, so you're used to them. being back home. Now you're back in the studio. I know. <laughs> you West, so I was like... Hi, Donna. Good morning. Hey, guys. Um, I have um, five quick things. The first one is we lived in a house, and there was a little girl that I saw in the hallway, and she had a nightgown on. She was about eight years old, little, you know, shoulder length, little blonde hair, whatever. And I'm like, oh, my God, what the hell? I never told my children that, never. And one morning, my daughter woke up, and she said, Mama, who is the little girl in my room? Oh, I said, Real, what little girl? What did she look oh. like? She described her exactly oh. with the nightgown, the hair. I'm like, mm, I don't know. So I just kind of blew it off. And then my kids would tell me that at night, when they were in the den, they would actually see people hanging like, no, you know, I dying, can't. hanging from, from the rafters. And our, and our, no, I kid y'all not. A rope? And then one time, now this is like really freaky. One time I was asleep, right? And I was like choking to death. I'm like, help oh, me. I woke up and there was this old lady over me with her what? hands around my neck. I, I, I'm not, I, is this no, the same I house? Cannot make this up. The same place? Same house. But let me also tell you this great news. My son was really, really sick. They thought he might have cystic fibrosis. I mean, it was a terrible situation. And I was, uh, so he was in the middle of the king size bed and I was, I looked away and then I was doing something. I looked back and I swear to God, I saw an archangel over him and I knew he would be fine and he didn't wow. have, um, CF. So that was amazing. So Whoa. I truly believe in that. Donna, stuff. what's the story with your house with all these happenings? Yeah, did you hanging look back people, for history? The person you choking you, he, the little girl. You know, I don't know, except the people who have lived there now for about 13 years, apparently, they ran into my son at the Apple store and they, and my son Austin asked the dude if he ever had any, like some weird things. And he said, yes, they had. And so um, like one time the door was open and there was like um, a lunch sitting on the counter that was not their lunch. I mean, just some weird things. So I actually, I actually kind of want to get in touch with this guy and ask him like, Hey, what's up? Y'all had any things happen? You I, see I don't any, know. Like, kids, just, uh, but I see kids uh, on Nightgown or on a that little tricycle. Oh, oh, God, that's terrifying. No, or the dead people hanging. Oh, oh, oh. Hell no, I was You know, new. there's those paranormal people that do these groups yes. that do all those investigations, Donna. You could yeah. always call them. Yeah, like what happened in your house? She doesn't live there now, oh, so oh, yeah, yeah. doesn't care. Not there Not now. that you don't care, but. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. in Maplewood. I, I don't know what's happening there, but I'm telling y'all, it was real. Real. What? What's it called? Maplewood? Yeah, where's that? Maplewood. Where's where's that? Near, near Meyerland. Near Meyerland. Okay, and when you sold the house, oh. did you have to reveal any of these strange happenings by chance? You didn't oh. say anything, right? Oh, no. No, hell no. no. Um, so I wonder what's <laughs> happening now. Anyone know the anything about in there? Maplewood area? We'll have to Google that and see, like, what yeah. was Maplewood back in the 1800s? Yeah. Like, like, Hillcroft. Yeah. Hillcroft, the Brazewood area over there. All right. Oh, my god. We'll do some investigating. Okay, Do Donna, yeah. Maplewood, we've right. taken note. Yeah. Thank you so much for calling our show. We appreciate you listening. Have a great day. Take care. You too. Take care. Bye. Bye. Sorry, I see little kids then hanging. Oh, 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 no. I'm out. I'm, I'm out. out. I'm no. out. I'm no. out. Isn't no. that what happened in The Sixth Sense when Haley Joel Osment's character was in that school and he looked over at the stairs and the people were hanging? Okay, there was a movie so like that, but yeah, I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, he was in the schoolhouse, and he saw the people Gosh. hanging from the nooses in the school, oh, I think and I nobody else could see movie. them. You oh. fell asleep during Sixth Sense? Someone told me the, told me the ending. And Are you crazy? And I waited for VHS. Oh, my God.
I don't like scary movies. So. I want to go on to more calls. We have more calls saying bye. We're going to keep on with yeah, this. Coming up going. next, Joe, don't go anywhere. It's Believe It or Not, the Paranormal what's, Edition. What's up with him? Joe has to do with a, um, something about a great-grandma. Mm. Well, maybe it's not his. Somebody else's great-grandma. <laughs> Just keep showing up. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving cookies by my Let's bed. find out. <laughs> Joe, hang on. We'll come right back to your calls next on The Rule and Ryan Show. We continue with Believe It or Not. We usually do Scoop here, brought to you by Innovative Lasers of Houston. But you guys have brought it on the phones at 713-390-KRBE. It's the month of October, so it's the stories of the paranormal. Misty, you hold on because you're next. We're going to Joe first. Hi, Joe. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Joe. Good morning. All right. What's your Believe It or Not story? Let's hear it. So I had a great-grandmother from Nolens that used to do some weird little healing ritual things when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. But she had this favorite pendulum clock that she just loved. And she had a key that she would keep it wound up and everything. <laughs> so when she passed, um, after the funeral and everything, we went to clean out the house and all that. And the, we noted that the pendulum clock stopped on the hour and the second of her death. Whoa. And oh, my, <laughs> my dad took it to, I don't know how many clock charts over the year over the years and it never would uh work again after that wow really? so when she died it, it that died. clock was it like a grandmother clock um a grandfather clock grandfather clock the, the, yeah, uh, yeah like a grandfather clock so <laughs> it stopped, there's the, the grandmother's a smaller one yeah. there's wow. the tall one there's the big one right the grandfather one's the bigger yeah one. it was the big one yeah. yeah did you keep it in your family or did you get rid of it because it doesn't work no we kept it in the family for a Several, several years, but then they finally got rid of it. But yeah, it's always up to somebody. Some, to be like, some, all kinds of weird things. Wow. Weird. Yeah. How old was your great grandmother when she passed? She was um, eighty-five. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Like when she passed, yeah. the clock stopped. That's weird. Oh my yeah. gosh! Yeah. It, yeah. it yeah. never worked again after that. Um, but she would do some weird stuff. I mean, I had. Um, I was in high school and made the drill team, and I had this growth on the inside of my palm. And my dad was like, "We got to go get that, you know, cut out or whatever, because you're, you know, you're in drill team. You use your hands." And so, um, she did this weird little healing thing where she cut a potato in half, right? And she she rubbed the potato over the growth. She buried the potato under the front porch, and she said this little prayer i guess over over the um area and the next day it was gone what? okay so it's, i've heard about never, burying potatoes and onions and dirt yeah. after you do some kind of I've something i've never heard of to that to make things go away yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 so did and you, it's never been and it's never been back it's always yeah you it, should it, dig up the potato and see if it moved there like did it the potato get a growth <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> like where know, did it go it started growing skin <laughs> it, it reverted they did yeah. it <laughs> So she was like a medicine yeah, woman. That is crazy. Well, after you told that story just now, it uh, reminded me in our meeting yesterday, mm-hmm. uh, a co-worker, uh-huh. her name, I don't want to say her name, mm-hmm. her rhymes with Ingrid, and um, <laughs> she was saying, this person, so... The, <laughs> what are, you, are you drunk? She, yeah, are you okay? What are you doing? She, uh, um, her, pa- her family, oh. during the... Um, um, what? what was it? Eclipse. The eclipse last week. Yeah. They said, mm-hmm. you have to be wrapped what do you mean? You can't be around the eclipse. Yeah. So they wrapped her in a blanket and put her in a closet so that the sun doesn't like if you're untouch. Like going to be pregnant or yeah, you want to be pregnant and all stuff. her untouched baby. What? Her untouched oh, baby. Oh, wow. Her unbirthed That's like baby. a segment of old wives' tales that you were forced to um, mm-hmm. stick but to. They said, it's from, uh, they said that a lot of people know this from like... 37530, if you ever heard of that, that you're not supposed to be exposed to an eclipse. If you're, a, if you're a, expecting. I don't know if that's... Have you ever heard of that? No, like I've never heard world? of that. No, no. But then oh. all these other people around there were like, you know, we have a lot of people from different mm-hmm, mm-hmm, countries. backgrounds, countries, and they were saying the same thing about the other things. Well, no, the thing I knew for the, the Greek old wives' tale was don't cross over cords. Like if you have like a lamp cord that's plugged in and it drags across the floor to the table, right? You know how like right. the plug might be over there and the, the yes. lamp is there? Like don't cross over the cords. If you're vacuuming, don't cross over the cords because you don't want the cord to wrap around your baby. It was a weird, Ew. like, thing. Yeah. Ew. It's like everybody has, like, those weird, like, oh, my God, don't do this. At least the clips makes more sense. Like, because crap. blah, blah, blah. Right? Yeah. When I was nine years old, I got chicken pox in Greece when I was visiting my family. What they do to you? And they put me in a dark room for two straight weeks, and they wouldn't <laughs> let anybody see me. Well, that's... <laughs> I wonder why I'm the way I am. Why am I the way I am? 
And nine it years old, I lived in so a dark much. room in a village. It explains so Because much. I had, okay, Ahmad's freaking out and saying line six has to go. Misty, I know you've been waiting, but apparently Ahmad said, if I don't take... Uh, we'll get to both, though. We have time. Yeah, we're not doing hold on news. a second. Jenna, can you hear me? Hi, it's yeah. Rula. Welcome to the Rula and Ryan Show. Hi, welcome back to the show. Oh, thank you. I'm back in studio. Yay, after three Yay. long months. Yay. Ankle surgery. I'm Yay. So- Yeah, I'm so excited for you. Thank you. you. I am very excited, too. Jenna, what is your spooky story? Okay. Well, my mother had a piece of furniture that was in the family for a really long time, and it was this beautiful secretary. And uh, she proceeded to tell me the story about it. And she said that it belonged to her great aunt and that her great aunt had fallen off of a horse and died. Okay. Well, that was back before they embalmed bodies, mm-hmm. and so uh, they had the funeral for her, and while they were having the funeral, she rose up out of the casket, and everybody saw her, and she was hearing her own funeral. What? Shut and up. She, wasn't Wait, she wasn't actually dead? No, she wasn't, and and what was funny about it at the end was that she this happened when she was like 11 years old, and she ended up living to like in her 90s. When she was 11 years old, your great aunt fell off of a horse, and they thought she was dead. Did a coma? So they put her in a coffin, and they're having a funeral, and she got up, and, was, and, her, and we're like, what's going on? Did they not have a doctor in the area? Where am I, mommy and dad? Uh, well, oh you know, God. that was way back when. I mean, this was my great, great aunt. So it was before they embalmed people. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. And so they just the assumed dirt, yeah. that, yeah, she, you know, they didn't get a heartbeat or whatever, so they had a funeral, and... You know, and I'm sure back then oh, they probably gosh. buried you pretty quickly. Yes, yeah. yes. It was like next day so situation. how many people... Back then, we're actually uh, still alive. Oh my God! Eric. I never think about it, Eric. Like, think about that. Know, if that was two breathe. hours later. Yeah. Oh, I can't breathe. Yeah. I know. I mean, it's just <laughs> creepy. When my she told me that, so now this furniture still sits in my house, and so every time somebody says, "Oh, how pretty it is," I just proceed to tell them the story, and they get all freaked out too. <laughs> is the yeah. furniture made out of the wood yeah. of the coffin or something? What does the furniture piece look like? How is it no. related? Oh, no, it's beautiful. If I could send you a picture, I would. It's just, a you know, very old wood, and I, the glass in it has got, like, dents in it and stuff. I call it depression glass, but I don't know if that's really what it is or not. Mm. But anyway, it's a beautiful piece, and we keep my mother's, uh, well, actually, it was my great, my grandmother's china that's mm. in it. Okay. And we just stare it every day, yeah. Got it. That's amazing. Well, Jenna, that's crazy. That is crazy. If she didn't wake up, you, they wouldn't be here. I uh, know. They would have just buried her alive. Well, that's right, because she went on to have a life, and have get kids. married, have kids, and all the things. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, Misty's up next. So, hi, Misty. Now's your time. Misty, you're hi. the first one that called in today, too. I know. So she's been waiting for a long hi. time. You, you, you get loyalty points. Hi. Welcome to Believe It or Not here on the Roland Ryan Show. Tell us your story. Thank you. Well, first of all, I'm laughing about the whole eclipse thing, because yeah. my husband's mother, <laughs> when I was pregnant with my daughter, she calls me. She's like, uh, it's an eclipse. You need to pin a key to your clothing. What? I was like, what? A key. And then I had to send her a picture of a key pinned to my clothing. Are you expecting? Well, I was pregnant. No, but that, Missy, oh, when huh? you were pregnant and there was an eclipse but in the some past? some other eclipse, maybe in Oh, the another past. eclipse? Yeah. Oh. So <laughs> yeah. why, why no, pin the key years, yeah, years a, ago? What's a key do? What's the key symbolize? I have no idea. My husband and I laughed about it again the other day. He's like, what? He was traveling. She called me. My mother-in-law called me and said, you need to pin a key your clothing and I was like mm. what does she drink yeah anyway yeah, she was just screwing with you huh? maybe just no, you know no, how mother in no, no. can screw no, no you know maybe people really believe in stuff and they're like yeah. you better do this just do this just yes. do this okay so Misty what ha- what you have a story that has to do with a printer what's going on with your printer that's yes. spooky okay so um, to set it up my grandparents have a large house my grandfather passed like 33 years ago okay so this was like five years ago so my grandfather had the corner room and my grandma had super old school had the room next to his okay so we all gather for like christmas and the holidays and whatever so we're all there and it's time for bed i'd already put my baby to bed and my husband and i walk into my grandfather's room where we're staying and it's like a dot printer you know one of those that's like yeah way old school where you had the little holes on the side of the paper anyways yep We walk into the room, the printer starts going off. And I looked at my husband, he looked at me and I was like, what, what is, what is that? Why? And we're like, okay. And then it stopped. We're like, okay. We went to bed, get up the next morning and we're all doing like our family breakfast. 
And I said, okay, y'all are going to think I'm crazy, but Marcus and I walked into the bedroom last night. The printer went off, and I, we don't even know, like, why. It was and it, was my plugged aunt in? Says, say, well, I'm watching you. It yeah, was, exactly. My aunt message, goes, I'm watching um, you. Oh my God. I see what you're doing. My aunt's desk is in there. My aunt's desk is in there, and she says that, that I haven't used that printer in ages. My cousin jumps up and he goes, that's why I don't stay in that room. <laughs> was it plugged in? I was in? like, what? No. It was not so plugged we in. we went back into the room. It was not plugged in. We went back into the room, and it was not plugged in. Wow. Mm-mm. Hell no. Did you, okay. What did you do with that printer? Did you throw it away right away? I'd be like, that's going in the dumpster. Uh, yeah. My aunt was like, okay. That's creepy. Yeah. yeah. It was, did it, it end it up printing anything? In. Yeah. Was there anything Or is like, it just making noises? Yeah. No. Like no. So I, I told my husband, I was like, my God, can you even imagine if like a paper had come out? Right. <laughs> oh, I would have freaked out. You know what? So um, you yeah, Phoenix, totally Phoenix from out. our show uh-huh. used to do Sam's job. Remember what Phoenix yeah. would do? He would, he'd oh, get bored. Oh, oh, and he was oh. like, he's a... Computer nerd, like he knows super IT, right? right? Like he knows all the ins and outs way more than the average this is like person. Two thousand before the average person knew what we know. Yes. What do you do? <laughs> when he would get bored, Sam, he would drive to different neighborhoods, and people didn't know to lock their Wi-Fi passwords. And he would jump on people's Wi-Fis, and he would send messages to their printers to print out. Like I'm watching out. you or doing this. Stuff. <laughs> what a weirdo! <laughs> Things that what kept him busy. A weirdo! When he was bored, oh he would just gosh. drive to different neighborhoods, park his car, and see which Wi-Fi would pop up and because they, they didn't break. lock it. And he would get it, hack into their Wi-Fis, and send them <laughs> so printer letter. letters. Like I messages. could totally see him doing that, and that would creep me out because you know I wouldn't I mean, have mine locked or something. Like, Sam, I see you're putting your son in the pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. It is cute. Go to Slam. Slam we given on Instagram. I'm little, baby in a little pumpkin. chunker. Little Santiago. The chunker could barely fit in that pumpkin. I was worried about those jagged edges she made around the top of I the... can't do like a circular pumpkin. Yeah, why could you make it circular? Why not? Because I don't smooth. like that. I but like But your jag. baby was going yeah, in I felt it. like he was going to... It's fine. Like, put his eyeball, you know, <laughs> like go... Like that. It She's wasn't like, that fine. intense. Don't okay? you know how savage she is? She's yeah. a babysitter. Santiago's at home with Misty right now, the dog. Yeah, yeah she, exactly. She's put a seatbelt on. She doesn't even put a baby seat. In. I thought that was Misty calling me. Actually, I was like, oh, I'm, wait, I'm just waiting for the slew of texts to come through where they're gonna shame Sam for not using car. So can we get people to call in now for? <laughs> I got shamed for traveling. She, she, she so. uses car yeah. seats. People want to know Might about well. like Mexican. Uh, I want to. Can we do that? Old next? wives' tales and stuff like that. Because like when I heard about this eclipse thing, I never knew there's a, yes. a thing. Now people are talking about safety mm-hmm. pins and um, keys and the potato thing about burying the potato after like you know touched your hand that had some growth every culture has there's something there's something about wrapping an onion on your ankle when it's swollen that we heard on this show yes yeah, so it takes like the toxins out or yeah. something it you like put, heals you somehow yeah. put Vicks on your feet or something with socks or something oh but that's actually like a real thing that's not a real that really works yes on babies when they don't yeah. feel good you put Vicks on the bottom of their bottom of their feet and yes. put socks on them when they go to sleep that's what I do with it'll help them though. permeates really? through yeah. them yeah um, and yes for those that missed that I was left in a room in the dark for two long weeks. <laughs> They just, like, he was looking, is that what they just want to tell you? Because you know when you have chicken pox, if you scratch them, they'll scar. Yes. And they're like, don't go into the light, Carol Ann. Don't go into the light. You're going to scar all over scar. you. Yeah. So dark it was like, so boring. Yeah. <laughs> Greek vacation for two weeks, and I'm in a dark room the whole time. Well, I can hear everybody having fun. Oh, that'd be awful. I was alone. I was alone. Okay, 713-390-KRBE. Call us and tell us something else if that you... Old wives' tales from your culture that you've seen. Right. Like, from eclipses, you swear the... by, or people made you swear by because they think it just works, or you need to do this. We'll talk to you next on The Rule and Rain Show.